There are many great series out there, and people like us love to binge watch them. And once you find a good series, you want more series like this. The same thing happened with the fans of Cobra Kai. We absolutely loved it, and now we want more series like that. So, to relieve you from the pain, we are here with 10 TV shows you should watch if you love Cobra Kai. With that note, let's begin. Number 10. Glow Glow is the ideal comedy drama series to watch next since it evokes the same nostalgic vibe as Cobra Kai. From the creators of Orange is the New Black, which is based on the true story of the gorgeous ladies of wrestling from the 1980s. The story is set in 1985 and follows Ruth Wilder, played by Alison Brie, an actress who auditions for Glow, a professional wrestling promotion. Because of his cynicism and unique approach to work, she is always at odds with Sam, the show's director. Glow transports us to a time when famous music, groovy flair, and copious amounts of hairspray were all the rage. The show chronicles the lives of the characters while debunking and investigating gender stereotypes, which were prevalent at the time. Number 9. The Umbrella Academy the Umbrella Academy is a Netflix smash series based on a series of novels by Gerard Way. In 1989, 43 babies were born to separate ladies on the same day. The fact that none of the women were pregnant the day before is remarkable. Sir Reginald Hargreaves, a billionaire, adopts seven of them and establishes the Academy to train them to save the world. When the children reach adolescence, the family disintegrates and the team disbands. When Hargreaves dies, the surviving members come together to unravel the mystery surrounding his death. They must combine their various skills and personalities while still surviving the impending world apocalypse. Currently, there are two seasons available on Netflix, and we are still waiting for the third season. Number 8 13 Reasons Why It is a series that has affected many of us, and if you still haven't watched it, I must tell you, you are missing out on a lot. 13 Reasons Why is based on Jay Asher's novel of the same name. It is set in the aftermath of high school student Hannah Baker's suicide. She leaves a box of recordings for Clay Jensen, played by Dylan Minnette, before she commits suicide. She discusses what prompted her to commit suicide and who she holds responsible for her premature death. From bullying to rape, 13 Reasons Why explores some of the most heinous atrocities committed against Hannah and other characters. 13 Reasons Why like Cobra Kai, delves into the extremes to which individuals, particularly teens, would go to save face and escape disgrace. Number 7. Kicking It While this is a Disney Channel show, it is a terrific comedy if you want to watch something a little less PG than Cobra Kai. Kicking It depicts the story of a dojo that has fallen on hard times and needs to repair its image. As a result, it's up to Ruddy the sensei to strive to improve his kid's form so that they can beat the competition and become the best dojo in town. While kicking, it is by no means the most realistic fighting program. It still is a fun show to watch that you can tell is developed by people who enjoy martial arts. The plots are interesting and delightful, and the ensemble has amazing chemistry, making the series enjoyable not only for children but also for adults. In addition, Jason Earls, as Sensei Ruddy, steals the show. Number 6. Titans Titans is an American superhero TV series created by Akiba Goldsman, Jeff Johns, and Greg Berlanti, based on the DC comic team Teen Titans. Titans tell the story of a group of up and coming teenage heroes who band together to combat and conquer evil and other perils. Strength, both individually and collectively, can be the deciding factor, similar to what fans witness in Cobra Kai. Titans opens with the Titans disbanded, followed by their reformation with old and new members, the first of whom being Dick Grayson, played by Brenton Thwaites. Despite mixed reviews for the first season, both fans and critics have lauded the second season. There are currently three seasons available, and I won't disclose much, but this show has given us the best DC costumes ever. It's a good binge watch series. Number 5. Into the Badlands. The film Into the Badlands depicts a warrior and his young apprentice on a trek into the Badlands, a post-apocalyptic feudal land. While on their quest to learn the art of fighting, the two also seek spiritual enlightenment, encountering barons and nobles, each with their own agenda. 
Despite the fact that it only lasted three seasons, the show represented a significant step forward in depicting martial arts on television, while avoiding the genre's normal tropes and caricatures. Choosing Hong Kong industry legend Daniel Wu as the lead was also a significant move toward representation. Number 4 Euphoria Euphoria is a series that is very popular among teens. Zendaya stars in this teen drama, which is based on an Israeli miniseries of the same name. Euphoria immerses viewers in the lives of high school kids as they strive to make sense of the overwhelming experience of being a teenager, complete with issues arising from love, sex, friendship, drugs, and more. Euphoria is told by Zendaya's Rue Bennett, a teen girl struggling with addiction, who wants to make a new start in life and find her place in the world. The portrayal of adolescent relationships, which is also a significant element in Cobra Kai, will appeal to fans of Euphoria. Number 3. Warrior Warrior is a late 19th century martial art criminal drama. This show follows Osam, a Chinese genius who comes to the United States in quest of his sister and ends up in San Francisco. However, as soon as he arrives, he discovers that the country is not what he expected, and he is forced to sell his combat skills to criminal gangs. Warrior is a fantastic series. Some of the action scenes are so wonderfully done that they will have your eyes riveted to the screen for minutes on end, but the story of the main character, Ah Sam, is what really sells it to me. He's a highly lovable protagonist too, like the people in Cobra Kai you'll fall in love with right away. Number 2. Teen Wolf I am pretty sure people have heard about it. Teen Wolf is an MTV supernatural teen drama television series created by Jeff Davis and based on the 1985 film of the same name. Tyler Posey plays the main character, a young werewolf who fights otherworldly creatures and other threats in his California community. After six seasons, the show premiered on June 5, 2011 and ended on September 24, 2017. It earned three Saturn Awards for Best Youth-Oriented Television Series after receiving mostly favorable reviews from critics. The show also won 13 Teen Choice Awards, including nine for Posey, Dylan O'Brien, Tyler Hoechlin, Holland Roden, and Shelley Hennig's performances, and four for Choice Summer TV Series. Davis's film Resurrection, which he wrote and produced, is set to premiere on Paramount+. Plus. Number 1. Highlander If you are searching for an entertaining continuation of a famous film like Cobra Kai, check out Highlander. In this sequel to the show of the same name, we follow Duncan MacLeod, often known as Highlander, an immortal man who has witnessed the worst of humanity throughout his life and must choose between good and evil. While not as grounded as Cobra Kai, this series is jam-packed with incredible events that will keep you interested for hours. Highlander the series has a basic premise that all Cobra Kai fans can relate to good versus evil, just like the good dojo versus the bad dojo. With six seasons to binge, Highlander. The series not only provides terrific fight scenes that will keep you on the edge of your seat. So these are 10 shows you can watch if you love Cobra Kai. Trust me, you will love all these series. I picked it with my own hands, so enjoy. This is all for today. Hope that you enjoyed the list. If you have watched any of these, do let us know your thoughts in the comments. We will see you at the next movie marathon. Bye-bye.